saw what God said and they believed it. Our parents in the Lord, single when this conversation started, got married, came to the city, dear God, and planted that seed from here. Today, to the glory of God, it's on different continents of the world, reaching different cities through different expressions of crusades, of ministries, of NGO, of churches, of sons and daughters in the gospel. Global Harvest, would you put those hands together and let's welcome home and welcome upstage our parents in the gospel and the visionaries of Global Harvest Church, pastors Victor and Jude. You must get a day of me tonight. Come on. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the warm welcome. But as you are welcoming us, I am also welcoming an invisible personality. We cannot see him with our eyes. But I remember September 29, 1995. I had been invited to preach at Christ Chapel. And uh, I thought of canceling the ministration. But I said, no, I'm going to go because it was an all night ministration. And the inauguration service was in the morning. I said, I will go. I want to find out if he is with me. And I went and I ministered. He moved. Hallelujah. People were healed. People were blessed. And as I stepped into the banquet hall of Premier Hotel that morning of September 13, 1995, and we began to worship, I sensed his presence. I said, Thank you. I said, Thank you. I said, Thank you. Once you are with me and I am not alone, I know everything will be all right. We cannot see him, but can we welcome the invisible third person of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit, to this service? Hallelujah. He is the senior pastor of the church. I am just the physical representative with my lovely wife. He's been the one leading us guiding us this past 28 years. Anyway, before I bring you the first word, I'm sure our matriarch has a word for us. <laughs> Come on, give it up to the Lord of Lords. nothing and global harvest church has brought us from a mighty long way you and us together has called us to rescue men from evil giving us the ministry of reconciliation how many know that without Jesus Christ there is no hope but he has given us hope beyond the scope of every human limitation and I'm so excited that you made it this far. A lot of people has passed through this house and they're doing great things for God in several places of the world. And to all the Global Harvest Church families around the world watching online, we celebrate you. We know you are here with us in the spirit. We welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. Help me tell your neighbor, say, tighten your seat belt. The flight is about to take off from day one. And as the Lord leads us on through his servant tonight, many other servants of the Lord will be taking us on eagle's wings in Christ. Apostle Mokisa is here with his lovely wife. <laughs> Reverend K would be here also. And there'll be many other people who will be speaking to us. Make sure you miss no session morning and evening be here and we bring you greetings in the name of jesus from the global harvest church 
London. They send their kind regards to you. They love you, we appreciate you, and the Lord richly bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, the Lord bless you. Thank you very much, Mama. Let's celebrate Mama. She takes her seat, glory to God. Just like she mentioned a moment ago, one of our speakers for this convention is already in the house. We came in contact with this ministry last year as we began our engagement with an organization called New Thing. And they began to teach us about developing the discipling culture. Our vision has always been global. Our mission has always been uh, to go to all the nations of the world. But then they began to enlighten us about building a discipling culture. And as they began to teach and to train us, there was just one hunger in my heart. Show me a church that is already doing it. Would let us see it done somewhere. Uh, not just because it is more believable when you see it, but because we can learn from them. And then last year, we sent a team to a conference in Uganda. And after the New Thing conference, there was another conference hosted by a pastor who was already practicalizing it. And to the glory of God, their church is, is in about 100 campuses right now throughout Uganda and beyond with over 1,500 missional communities. On a weekly basis, people are pouring into their locations. It's a church on the go. Every Sunday service is garage in their locations. True ministry is taking place from Monday to Saturday. We are learning from them. They've inspired us so much. We now decided, okay, the man that we go to Uganda to listen to, let us import him for you so that you too can hear him, even if you don't go to Uganda. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's celebrate Apostle Moses Mokisa and his lovely wife, Pastor Sarah Mokisa. And we've got some of their children, location pastors, and their wives who came with them. Can you wave your hands, men and women? Come on, global others, make them feel welcome to you are most welcome to Nigeria. We are truly honored that you will come. He had to shift some things just for our sake. We are glad we have found favor with him. He loves us very, very much and certainly will be a blessing to us from tomorrow. In fact, we told them that they can as well go and rest this evening, but they said, no, they don't want to miss any part of this convention. Praise God. Apostle Mo, will you please just come and bring a, a, a word of greeting? I know you will greet us better from tomorrow, but uh, we just want to hear a word of greeting from you. Please make him welcome. Happy anniversary, Global Harvest. Wow. We bring you greetings from Worship Harvest. I hope you're seeing the connection already. We thought, you know, we were doing this harvest thing until we found Global Harvest and we said, we are going to be your friends whether you like it or not. And so thank you so much, uh, Reverend Victor. Thank you so much for having us, for inviting us, and for being our friends. I believe that God has connected us supernaturally, and we are going to see a great harvest in these days. I cannot wait for the word, so let me get out of the way and let's get it going. Thank you so much for having us. Glory to God. We are truly honored and excited about this great gift. Please take your seats, please. I want to say a big thank you to our hosts here in Ibadan and the pastors 
of the headquarters church here, Pastor Femi Antulu Alade Sami. Thank you for all the hard work that Pastor to do there. Thank you very much, all the pastors of headquarters church, all the workers of this church for all the hard work, all the preparation that has gone on. I want to thank all the, the workers from other locations here in the Bada who have joined the hands and not even from Ibada, from other places. I'm already seeing people from Lagos and from other locations busy working together. Thank you all very much for your hard work and thank you all the pastors of Global Harvest here present. All of you here present, can you stand to your feet and let's celebrate this Global Harvest pastors. Come and stand to your feet. Let's celebrate you and honor you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the great work you are doing here. We love you. We appreciate you. We celebrate you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You may be seated, beloved sons and daughters. 